Where you at? You done all right? Let's go, girl. You got a problem with me? To our place. I got away, but they got my wife. Please, mister. I gotta do something. All right. Where is she? It's a sack out in the swamp by the water. <laughs> okay. Go on. See if you can find yeah. the law. I'll do what I can. Been a while, girl.
easy. There we go. <sighs> Take it easy. Hey, Arthur. Come on! If we're gonna make it to this party, we yeah. sure as shit better clean up a little. So we're doing this? Oh, yeah. Old friend Dutch van der Linde's finally showing his true colors. Social climbing. <laughs> Old Senor Bronte, that horrendous snake, has invited us to the ball, Cinderella. So my suggestion is we go and get you a gown. <laughs> you son of a bitch! <laughs> Utterly. I ain't never been to a ball in my life. Nor have I, if I am being honest. I used to quite often. There could be fine pickets. Oh, no, 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 no pickpocketing. We are here to make real contact. What kind of contact? Well, I don't know. We'll find what we can. All I know for sure is we are going to a party at the mayor's house, and the guest of honor is the worst crook in town. <laughs> I am sure that we will find something. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen, Luca, I'm afraid the mayor does not allow guns at official functions after last year's incident. Luca here will take you to Mr. Bronte. I believe he is expecting you. Follow me, gentlemen. This way, please, gentlemen. Senior Bronte will be so pleased that you made it. We are honored to be here. <laughs> That's wonderful, wonderful. That. Come, come, this way. Uh, with a beautiful evening it shall be. Mr. Brante is a very good friend with the mayor. Good evening, Pierre. Senor Napoli? As long as the mayor behaves himself, you know, Mr. Brante, he has uh, that thing, you know, uh, respect. Jose, Bill, you join the party. We'll meet you out back after we pay our respects to Senor Brante. Come, come. 
We'll meet you out in the balcony when you're done. Per la prima volta questo mese, senza dubbio. Oh, this is quite a party you've invited us to. Yes, quite something. Although I'm not quite sure what. So, this is Sandany High Society. Yes, apparently so. And all these people, these are friends of yours, Senor Bronte. No, 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 not quite, not quite. But they certainly are afraid of me. Like that one. See that wretch? He's the mayor. <laughs> Henri Lemieux. <laughs> He'll do anything for a dollar, and I mean anything. <laughs> Politics is a foul business. Yes. Oh, and that one too. That is Alberto Fuzal. He owns a sugar plantation out on the island, and he comes here to whore and despoil himself. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, and that, that is Hobart Crawley, a, a Confederate major in the war. I mean, a hero, they say, but that is his, his very young wife. I mean, a young mistress, that's the natural order of things, yes, but a young wife is unseemly. Oh, oh, the Redskins. <laughs> I have no sympathy for them, because whoever is stupid enough to get tricked by the Americans, no, they get what they deserve, huh? <laughs> yes, and a letter to the mayor. Oh, yeah, that'll save you. <laughs> and that... That is Hector Fellows, mm. this self-righteous newspaper man. Maybe, maybe you will kill him for me one day. <laughs> well, we're not paid killers as such, not in cold blood anyway. I did not know you were so particular that uh, you wouldn't help a friend. Oh, I'm willing to help in any way I can, uh, within reason. <laughs> I'm going to pretend to understand what that means. I meant no offense, sir. Well, I'm not taking None taken! <laughs> All these vulgar people, they hate me. <laughs> non vedo l'ora di guardarti morire! <laughs> well, uh, it has been wonderful conversing with you, but I can tell that you are very busy and I won't waste any more of your time. Yes, yes, yes. Go, enjoy yourselves and mingle with this vulgar scum. It'll make you long for the days when you could shoot each other and screw cows out on the open range. <laughs> Those sure were the days. Good day, gentlemen. Mm, good day to you. But before you go, what uh, exactly are your plans here? Well, we've not made any... Well... We, we are going to need some money. Money, yes, of course. Well, there's, there's money at the trolley station. They keep a lot of cash there in the day. Now, I could not involve myself in such uh, matters. But you... Pff, as a guest, yes. As my guest, bah, do it, huh? <laughs> okay, good day, gentlemen. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, ragazzi, adesso il vino buono. <laughs> I'll show you to the party, gentlemen, if you'll kindly follow me. Gentlemen, enjoy your evening and welcome once again to Saint Denis. Ciao, ciao. Gentlemen, let's go ingratiate ourselves. Okay. Go find the mayor if you can and stay out of trouble and steal nothing unless it's information. Of course. Jose, you go find us some place to rob. Bill, go make us some new friends. I'm gonna find out old Cornwall and what's his name, Milton, knows we're here. Gentlemen, be well. Darling. Ah, get me a blanket. 
bloody drink, will you? Champagne, sir? A small one. Just mark it off. Oh, there are whales. But not all of them. How was the show? I heard you went. <laughs> Ooh, outrageous. <laughs> These dancers. Well, uh, <laughs> if that's French culture for you. Gentlemen, I hope you're having a fine evening. Ah, Mr. Mayor, wonderful to see you again. And you, this intellectual here was just insulting me regarding the Redskin. I did no such thing. <laughs> but, Mr. Lemieux, I suggested that all of us as Americans had a duty to take care of people living in this land. And that extends to Saint Denis. But, Mr. Miller, the Indian problem is not an urban problem, but a rural problem. And here in Saint Denis, we have problems of our own. It ain't complex, and you. And only an idiot like you, buddy, would try to make it so. I will not deny idiocy, sir, but perhaps now is not the time. <laughs> Typical pansy. You are drunk, Ferdinand. <laughs> I'm not. Drunk, you fool. But this man, this man loves darkies. Hey, <laughs> you are pretty drunk. Yeah. Hey, what say you and me cool off? <clears throat> Get your hands off me. Come on, sleep it off. Sit down and calm down. Count to a thousand. Nigga, we join the party. It's fantastic. Thank you, sir. My pleasure. Henri Lemieux. I hope you're enjoying my party. Mayor. Allegedly. That's quite a place you got here. <laughs> it's not mine, and the city is horribly in debt, but we can still put on a good show. Do you know Evelyn Miller? I don't know. Ryder? Well, we seem to have another deranged drunkard on our hands. Shall we? Oh, oh, oh. My lord, they're fantastic. Mr. Cornwall was quite insistent, I'm afraid. Uh, he shouted down the telephone for several minutes. Mr. Cornwall is a horse's ass and a bad horse. I'm very sorry, sir. Well, it's not your fault. I'm a fool for trusting him. I'll come in time in a minute. Let me enjoy the fireworks. Of course. Did he say something about Cornwall? Yes. Find out what. Sure. Everything's fine. We have the place well secured. Good. Mr. Bronte has a habit of wandering about and reading whatever he likes. <laughs> We're watching him and his men like hawks. Thank you, Mr. Turner. Telephone, it keeps ringing. The mayor said he will sign later. <sighs> Marie! Marie! Find that little reprobate Jeep and beat him! I will not have stand. I'm sorry, sir, but the party is in the garden. The residence is purely for family. I do hope you understand. <sighs> Forgive me, I was unaware. Don't slip in this house. Have you lost your mind? I said, have you lost your mind? Come here. Come here. Look at me. Look at me. 
at me. Who do you think you are? This area is not meant for the likes of you, you know this. The standards in this house are slipping. This is a final warning to you, miss. A final warning. Now get out of my sight. Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Top secret. Extremely confidential. Very interesting. Waste of time. Maybe not. Arthur? Gentlemen, I think we're done here. What did you find now? There's plenty of money, Musu, here, of course. And I think I found out how we can grab some of it. A big bank. Real one, I mean. But not yet. A city bank? Maybe. And a stuffed one. If we're gonna leave, that could be the one thing we need. There's also that trolley car station Senor Bronte told us about, and I heard about a high-stakes poker game. Come on. Here comes Lenny. All right. Let's get in. <coughs> Go home! Oh, I ain't never felt so awkward in all my life. All them folk are so pleased with themselves. Oh, high society's pigeon shit. If you ask me, it's more like torture. Well, that's sort of the point, isn't it? Let the people torture themselves. Here's them papers I took. Uh, let me see you take this. I don't think so. Hmm. I might have an idea. Let me think on it. <laughs> Interesting times. <laughs> I guess. So what's next? Dancing lessons? Deportment? More along the lines of armed robbery. Jose is handling reconnaissance on the bank. He and Abigail are gonna run some distractions, see how the law reacts. Good. Oh, and I spoke to Evelyn Miller. Fine man. Here helping the Indian chief we saw. Yeah, I met him too, with the mayor. He's lobbying officials in San Denis on their behalf. Maybe we could help. Maybe. Now, I think there's a lot of money on the riverboat. A lot of money. And Trelawney, he's investigating for us. He says to meet him at the tailors. Okay. One big score down here, Arthur, and we disappear. We are almost heading home. And where is home? I don't know. Exactly. But I can smell it. I'm gonna go investigate this trolley thing old Bronte was talking about. Okay.
Idiot. All good here? Enjoy the show, if that's possible. It's a free show. What's this show, then? Mr. Charles Chatternay. Go and see for yourself, but don't blame me. I just don't like how much time you're spending with the man is all. Just wait until you see his work. It's very progressive. Well, I'm not so very sure how I feel about progressive. Order. Paintings or otherwise. Come on. You won't have seen the like of it before, I promise. Maybe that's a good thing. Hold, hold on, let me compose myself. I think Morning. that it's Greek. Or that's far too modern for my tastes. Mr. Chardonnay, he's Look at these blush. idiots. Excuse me, Mr. Chardonnay. Couldn't you have painted some drawers on her? Madame, I paint her in her natural state, as she was and will be in paradise. There's nothing natural about that. Clothes are civilization, repression, death. To be naked is to be free, innocent, alive. Like Buddha said, you know, we are all just here to fuck. <gasps> well, that explains the decadence of those Hottentots. Hey, you got a picture of my wife here, in her delicate. <gasps> Henry, oh. is that your behind? Oh, why would you be showing it to that man? That's my mama. <gasps> as nude as the day she was born. Stop looking at my husband's buttocks. Mm -hmm. Stop looking at my mama. Well, maybe <laughs> she shouldn't expose herself like that. This is disgusting. The nerve on you! That's it! Oh, oh, come on, Mildred. This is no place for us. Come here, hey. I am a bitch! Oh, you God. filthy little man! Oh! <laughs> oh! Come on, horse! We're leaving! Hey, I'm coming after you, Frenchie! Hey. All right! Uh. 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 
is well and truly over. Let's get out of here. Come on, I know a place where I can disappear for a few days. This way, this way, come on. I think we are okay. Huh? The exhibition, what can you say? <laughs> it was not boring, huh? <laughs> that, it was not. To test people, push them. I thought I was a fraud, a no talent brush washer. Now I'm not sure. We provoke emotions, no? You keep provoking emotions like that, and all your canvases left punch holes through. I told you I was a whole ass. <laughs> you did, and you are. Now maybe go be an asshole somewhere else for a while. Ah, here we are. I know a lady over here. She may let me stay for a while. Good luck. That picture I gave you, it will be worth something someday. I can feel it. Perhaps. Right now, it seems like the only thing it'd get me is kicking the balls. Oh, you are funny, you know. I hope to see you again sometime. My angel, my little bird, it's me! <laughs> Bien le bonjour, monsieur. has been committing so many crimes. Hmm. Careful, big man. What? One moment, please. Hey. This is extremely delicate. Algernon Wasp, purveyor of the exotic and the exquisite, enchanté. Uh, Tacitus Kilgore. How can I help you? May I interest you in a uh, hat, perhaps? Yeah. How about a nymph? I import them from Brussels. The idiots in this town all want Italian nymphs, but the Italians make the coarsest of marble. I mean, quite frankly, the Baroque is an abomination. Belgium. Now that is a land for the connoisseur. Oh, yes, yeah, as I always say. But, you know, I'm not 
Really a nymph kind of man. No, oh, of course, too ephemeral. You want something uh, more tangible, more gothic. I also make corsets. Would you like a corset? I always wear one. Uh, no, I don't think so. Yeah, I ride a lot of horses. Um, the whalebone might stick in. Mm, well, a cup of tea. Uh, sure. And what is it you do, Mr. Kilgore? Are you a gentleman of leisure? An aesthete? <gasps> An artist. Uh, I suppose I'm <clears throat> kind of an adventurer. Ha! Huh. Yes, of course you are. Here, be careful with the china. Sir, it is French. Not Belgian? No, 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 no. They are Philistines in that area not to be trusted. Youth, eternally preserved in marble, is more their specialty. I fear China will always elude them. Now, why are you here exactly? I don't know. You're an adventurer. A wanderer, a lost soul, cast out from heaven? <sighs> sure. Well, I do pay exceptionally well for certain objects needed for my art. Mm, you do? I do. Exceptionally well. Well, what do you need? Let's see. Right now, I have a couple of commissions. I need at least 15 egret plumes. Good ones, obviously. I also need 15 assorted orchids. Here's a list. Okay. I will see what I can do. Thanks for the tea. Thank you, Tacitus. It'll be very worth your while. Welcome to our humble police house. I can't possibly help you if you don't tell me what you need. <clears throat> Chief, I'm representing the inventor of a humane execution machine. An electric chair. And he, uh, he wants to demonstrate his invention here. Ah. I'm familiar with the man and his work. Tell you what, I'll give you a permit. But it's gonna cost you $100 in fees. Hey, look. This will save you money in the long run. And, uh, it'll save the condemned a whole lot of pain. That remains to be seen. But, I'll give you a permit for 50 Okay, well, price is fair, here you go. And here, sir, is your permit. A pen in the usual formalities, of course, such as uh, finding a suitable candidate for humane dispatchment. I'll tell that to the professor. Good luck.
Yep. Hello, Professor... Professor... Andrew Bell the Third. That's it. So, the Chief says you can test out your machine, oh. pending the usual formalities. And what are they? Uh, finding a suitable, uh, subject. Ah, funny you should mention. This fella here, he seems sturdy enough and he's guilty as sin. Wilson J. McDaniels. Wanted for murder, bigamy, and... Immoral animal husbandry. What's that? The mind shudders. Here, find him for me and help me put him out of his misery. Why, this is all coming together wonderfully. The final piece of the puzzle. Never shall a man have been so humanely dispatched as this poor wretch McDaniels. Please assure him of that. The man, his kindly and noble executioner awaits. I have only a few more adjustments to make. Uh, please hurry with our subject. Science awaits him. <laughs> 